This is a very important conference for the United Nations and for all the countries in the world. Compared to the first time around in Vancouver held in 1976, the world uh, urban population was about 37% of the global population. However, right now, over 54% of the world population is urban. So what are the implications of the global population uh, reaching 70% by 2030? That in itself has a huge impact on food production and food supply demand around the world. One of the things that we are seeing now is that the, the decentralization of power and resources are happening in many countries around the world. What this means is that the municipal governments, local governments have more responsibility to implement a lot of the things that have been discussed under the Sustainable Development Goals, but also that will be discussed and, and agreed upon at the Habitat 3 conference. One of the, the good examples of this is the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact, where uh, over 120 cities have signed the pact to really focus on um, developing sustainable food systems for their cities. The new urban agenda, which is the outcome document of Habitat 3, has been in negotiation for uh, over a year now and we as an FAO have been working tor towards providing uh, technical inputs into this process. At the end of the day though, the agreed text of the new urban agenda is is very much containing the importance of food security and nutrition, territorial development, and the importance of agriculture in that context. The role of urban agriculture and food security and nutrition is, an as is something that we have been working on for the last 20 years. It has uh, several implications for communities in urban areas. What we see mostly in developing countries is that urban agriculture is a means for people for survival, for their subsistence. Many people use little spaces that they can have access to to produce for themselves, for their own consumption. Urban agriculture and peri-urban agriculture can also be a livelihood, means for livelihood and income generation for many people in developing countries.